Today's video is about Kenneth Chenault, who was the CEO of American Express for almost 19 years. If you know anything about CEOs, that is an extremely long tenure. He left when he wanted to. He was not gotten rid of, he was not fired, he was not forced. Kenneth Chenault is an example of black excellence. And he is one of my personal heroes because I've followed his career. And let's go examine the environment that created Kenneth Chenault. His father was a dentist. His father had the highest score on the New York dental exam up until 2014. His mother was a dental hygienist. So this, let's go back and look at the environment. Because one of the things I tell you guys is environment for children is everything. Because his father was an upper middle class black that graduated from Morehouse, this created the genesis and the energy for Kenneth to catapult up into the corporate world where he was a graduate from Harvard Law School. He worked for Bain and Company as a consultant. He joined American Express and he became the CEO. Kenneth Chenault was an extremely smart cookie, but let's go ahead and look at the life of Kenneth Chenault. He got married. This is something I know, red pill and uh, all of you are like, oh, no, no, no. He got married. He's still married to the same woman, that his first wife. He has two children and he is worth hundreds of millions of dollars because of his tenure and his stock options that he got from American Express. He is retired in extreme comfort. Kenneth Chenault was one of the first new blacks. And this is one of the things because while people were celebrating hip hop and rappers and stuff, not too many people were talking about Kenneth Chenault. He's the third African-American, a black person, to be a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And I want you to understand how much power elevation it took to get there. Because you got to understand, dude faced a lot of obstacles and hurdles which did not impede his progress. Kenneth Chenault is a shining example of what you as a black person can do when you abandon certain attributes that is characteristic of the black culture. I guarantee you, he does not use the N word. I'm 100% sure of that. And also, he knows the value of marriage, he knows the value of family. And this is one of the things that you have to understand if you're gonna be a new black. He was able to move in multiple circles. He was able to elevate, he was able to execute, he was able to lead, and the American Express grew under his leadership. So, like I said, this is a prime example of black excellence, and this is part of the, one of the reasons that I've created the Corporate Toolbox, because we need more Kenneth Chenotes. And it is my hope, it is my intention, that the children of the members, of the founding members of the Corporate Toolbox create many Kenneth Chamotes. Because let's go ahead and just have this discussion. You need to be in an environment of wealth, access and excess to bring up a kid that has unbounded vision that is not limited. See, Kenneth Chanel grew up and saw that his father, who graduated from Morehouse, was a upscale black. He didn't grow up with any boundaries and bonders on him. He grew up knowing that he could take on the world and he could lead. And this is one of the things that I'm doing with the Corporate Toolbox because the impact and the effects of the Corporate Toolbox are going to vibrate for decades. Give you an example. We'll have someone now come in the Corporate Toolbox who's a regular person and they'll become a corporate citizen. They'll build a company, they'll do the holding company structure and they'll get married and have children. And these children will grow up in the lap of luxury. These children will go to private schools. These children will have every opportunity, access to every educational opportunity. These kids will be primed to be Kenneth Chenotes. See, this is one of the things, because I did a video talking about how to make your grandkids and kids millionaires on Savage Finance, and it didn't do that well. And one of the things that has happened to the black community is the lack of preparation for the second, third, and fourth generation. This used to be the norm. All of those good people in the 60s who were marching for civil rights, they were marching for us. And right now, we don't have that kind of energy in the black community where you're thinking of 
making your grandkid or it's like, it's all about me. This is the energy that we have in the black community. And this is why the black community isn't growing. It's all about me. It's all about like right now, you're having women with little children who are leaving their children at home so they can go be up in the club. When I was growing up, that never would have happened. A mother would have never done that to her children. And right now with all of this me-centric energy, we're killing the possibilities of the future. Cause like I said, I, I thought that video was gonna do like, you know, be like a grand slam because everyone's talking about generational wealth, but no one is practicing the aspects of Jennifer wealth. Kenneth Chenault's father was a dentist. He was a highly paid professional in the black community up in New York. This is the environment that Kenneth Chenault grew up in. And I want little black kids to grow up in similar environments. I want them to grow up in big old houses. I want them to grow up in their own bedroom. I want them to have a dog. I want them to enjoy the finer things of life. I want their families to be able to take vacations because this is what creates Kenneth Chenotes. See, here's the difference. You would see movies about little white boys who had these big dreams because they grew up in the lap of luxury. Bill Gates, he grew up upscale middle class. Bill Gates went to private school. If you go back and you look into the histories of all of these founders, of all these tech people, you see similar things. Jeff Bezos' grandfather was the commissioner of the Atomic Board. You will see over and over again that there was someone in their environment that was upscale, high level in achieving. They did not have to do what so many of us in the black community have to do. We have to set the standard, work hard to elevate. Let's go ahead and look at my background. My grandmother, who was a graduate of Miles College, who was a teacher, she taught me how to read. That made a fundamental difference in my life from the point I learned how to read up until now. And this is one of the things that is holding back so many kids. There is nobody there for them. There's no grandmother, there's no mother, there's no father. They're born and they're left to their own devices. You know, I was having this conversation and we were talking about what happens when you grow up without a father. And essentially you spend 10 years, 10 to 15 years figuring stuff out. And if you had a father, a grandfather or an uncle, you wouldn't have had to spend those 10 to 15 years figuring stuff out. And this is what holds us back. Cause like, you know, 20 is the new 30. 20 is not the new 30. Your 20s are a pivotal time in your life. Your 20s are a time that you should be building. But due to pop culture, many people spend their time partying, hanging out, doing whatever they want to do. And then in their 30s and 40s, they started to get serious and they wasted 10 years because I'm looking back at my life and I feel fortunate that I started to get it together at 32. When I was in my 20s, I was just kind of figuring some stuff out because I didn't have any direction. I didn't have any mentorship. And that's one of the things I want to provide to you guys is mentorship and to give you the benefit of my experience. Like I said, Kenneth Chenault is one of my heroes. I've studied his career. I admire the man greatly. And this is, because this is one of the things that I want to bring to the channel is a level of black excellence, a level of creating, a level of leveling up. Because, you know, after I'm dead and gone, I want my legacy to shine on. I want to be looking down, hopefully, looking down at all of these little kids that I played a part in having them having a great life, a luxurious life, a life with a mother and a father. Because here's the record. I know all the red pill and the blue, the red pill and the MGTOW men are throwing stuff at the computer screens. And I'm gonna have a message for you guys in a minute. But it's about creating a family. It's about building a legacy. It's about building stuff. Because I worked in the hospital, and I'm gonna tell you, I saw many people, unfortunately, die alone. And that's gotta be one of the worst feelings on the planet, to be going to leave the earth and you're by yourself. 
And I've also seen people like this, this was this Q dog. And he had his new wife and his ex-wife by his bedside when he was in the hospital stricken with cancer. Let me say that again. He had his new wife and his ex-wife looking after him. Because even though he and the ex-wife were no longer married, they were still family. And this is one of the things I want to be an example of. This is one of the things I want to bring to the channel is we gotta build families. We gotta build strong, loving, caring families. In the single mother culture, it doesn't work. Most of the guys in jail did not have a daddy. Most of the women in jail did not have a daddy. The highest level of suicide rates are children without fathers. So one of the things that I hope is a byproduct of creating this corporate toolbox and creating these corporate citizens is to create a legacy and a mass of men who are leaders. A group of men who will put down roots, who would build strong families, who would have great lives, who would leave a legacy. When these men are 80, 90 years old and preparing for the next transition, they'll be able to look back and say, I did that thing. I did it, I did it well. I got great kids, I had a great wife, I had a great life. And this is what I'm looking at, because Kenneth Chanel is 69 years old, and he can look back and he can like, I did the damn thing. I, I did really well. And this is what, you know, one of the things I want you to look at, because I'm still building and growing and I'm creating, and I want more people to join me in creating and building because I'm really serious about this corporate toolbox because you know it's gonna take me a few months to get it where I want it, but there will be paid advertising. I'm going to indoctrinate and inoculate so many people with corporate culture because so many people don't know what they don't know. They have no clue to what's possible. How many of you, before I did this video, even heard of Kenneth Chanot? There are so many examples of shining, stellar, black, excellent out, out there that is overshadowed by love and hip hop in the real wives of Atlanta. Look deeper. There is excellence, there is greatness, and there's power and there's beauty in the culture that is doing it the correct way, that is doing it on a grand level. Because like I said, you know, Kim Chanel, I've known about him, got 18 years because when he became the CEO of American Express, I knew about it and it was like 2001. And I was like, wow. And this is when I was coming out of my situation. This is, you know, I was in a boarding house, 97, 98, 99. So I started my upward trajectory shortly before he became the CEO of American Express. And I want you to think about that. I want you to understand what a moment that was for him to become the CEO. For me, it was like when Barack Obama became the president of the United States. Because American Express is an amazing company with an amazing legacy. And he, it was ran and ran well by a black man. Because one of the things that I want you to understand is you can be great. You can build something, you can start something, you can create something. And no one has probably ever told you that before because we have a bunch of negligent parents. Parents who do not instill in their children the ability that they can be great. Parents that don't praise their children. Parents that don't educate their children. Parents who just have kids and let them become latchkey kids and they're just ornaments, they're just there. They're not grooming or building these children the way that Kenneth Chanel was groomed or the way that Patrick Mahomes was groomed. Like I said, Patrick Mahomes just signed a $400 million contract. And what was his next move? What was his next move? He's getting married. He's getting married to his high school sweetheart. He's getting married. Once again, this is one of the things that the new blacks do. They invest time in building and creating versus chasing and having relationships. This is one of the things that gets me about YouTube. You can create a channel about relationships and blow up. You create a channel about business, something that will put money in your pocket, something that will impact your children, something that will impact the totality of your life, eh, it does okay. I am really pleasantly surprised and stunned at how fast Savage Finance is growing. It is only six, it'll be seven months old this month, and 
I got some other plans. I got some other stuff that I'm going to do to grow the channel. And I'm really happy with what's going on over there. I'm really, you know, surprised. Like, like I said, when I did the video talking about how to make your grandkids, it, was, it didn't do that well. But that video still has life in it and it can do well in the future because I'm about building legacies and about instructing people about this corporate game so they can have a better life. I was doing a video today was talking about you manage your money or your man money's gonna manage you. And I want more people to be managing their money. I want more people to be in a situation where they can live how they wanna live. I want people to be in a situation where they are living their best life. They're happy, they're living well, they're eating well, they're vacationing well. They have good and fulfilling lives. This is one of the things that I want to happen. This is one of the things I want to build. This is one of the things I want to create. And I want you to join me in the corporate toolbox and becoming a corporate citizen. Because, oh my, oh my, if I can get 50,000 people in the next five years to become corporate citizens, that right there is a legacy. That right there is cooking with gas. So I want you to join me in becoming a corporate citizen. The link's below. The September special, you can pay $2,400 and get immediate access to everything. Or you can get on the monthly payment plan and get immediate access to everything. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video, which will be right around here.